I'm Otto Pina, and uh, my plans were approved. At one time, I made a, made, made a presentation to the entire um, collected uh, members of the Senate and the House of Representatives, and it was a very lively presentation and exchange between the, the lawmakers and and me, the artist from uh, from Boston. I think in a certain way, and I then made friends in Hawaii among the legislators as well as among the the artists and the uh, uh, academic uh, population. And it was kind of a happy um, collaboration from from the start. And um, I've been this is now quite a while ago when that happened. I have not lost my somewhat instant love to Hawaii. It's really very, very important. It's been very important in in my life. And uh, when I heard that I was invited to to go again, I was sorry that I couldn't for technical reasons, timing reasons, all that. So that's why we why we're here doing an interview in in uh, Cotton, Massachusetts. So one thing that I was asked to do was this commission in Hawaii, namely to develop light sculptures for the House of Representatives and the Senate space in the new State Capitol in, in Honolulu, which was initially was still in under construction, and then while I was working on it, it was completed and uh, became a very interesting building and became a very interesting project to work on. So I was invited to Hawaii. Actually, went to Hawaii several times before I actually started the work, and I developed the concept for. The Sun, that's the sculpture, kinetic light sculpture in the, uh, uh, the Senate. And the Moon, that's the kinetic light sculpture in the House of Representatives. The uh, idea that I would do that, meaning not thematically, but to do uh, sculptures for the, the capital, came from the architects, and the architects were quite enthusiastic about how I went about it, and um, something that resulted was that I was invited, to, uh, invited again to Hawaii to, to see the islands, to, to see the state, to see nature culture and technology of uh, the Hawaii Islands. And I realized how much life in Hawaii was related to the ocean and the sky, how, how much, how strong the role of the sun was in, in life and, and uh, uh, work uh, in Hawaii and how, how equally important the moon was. And that the, the uh, 
the tides and the uh, and sunrise and sunset were raining as in R E I G I N G um all the life in Hawaii more than in other states or in other countries and I was very very impressed by that and it's the beauty dependent very much on the proximity the closeness between nature and and uh, life and, uh, and and work so hence the sun which is a sculpture basically with a round shape and it's gold plated it's it's real gold uh, that was used for the for the uh, um, the gold plating and uh, the moon which consists of nautilus shells not nautilus shells that have been treated to iridesce um, and they again here's the ocean here's the here's where the, the islands are in the middle of, the, of nature above and nature below and nature wet and nature nature dry and nature cold I mentioned that earlier because it's snow outside in Groton, Massachusetts um, that I have seen even snow snowing and snow in Hawaii so it's all there um, and uh, the installation became an interesting process and the um, the binding into the rest of the architecture or, or the uh, um, capital building became a very interesting process and the way I see it it all fit pretty well and um, I was proud to do the, the this piece and it went through very you know, beautiful democratic um, sequence of steps to get together to become what what it is, and uh, that alone was was rather interesting for me, and how it was observed and how it was uh, appreciated by the the, the, the citizens, the, the Hawaiians who who part of their, their capital, rightfully so. The capital is a remarkable building, a beautiful piece of architecture. Um, so that's what made it very, very important and very uh, uh, attractive to me from the start. But it, it, did, it did make a lot of sense to me in a certain way. This is how I saw the role of, of architecture in public life and how it could indeed bring peoples together, so to, so to speak. You know, the Hawaii population is interesting and it's very diverse, but on the other hand, the Hawaiians are very proud of being Hawaiians. And that's interesting to, to witness and to, uh, to work with this element, this kind of ethnic uh, element. But, but, but all the things it comes with, with music, with lore, with, with uh, mythology, um, uh, the, the reference and the reverence for the volcanoes, the mountains, the, uh, uh, the mythology that came with that, and you know, I somehow got more deeply into what it all meant and how it all had happened and how it all ha hangs together to, to this day, I think. Um, so it does make, it does make sense. It's, it, to me, it's, I'm talking Podobo now, but I think it's public art that somehow is plausible and maybe also um, strong enough to appeal to not only the, the uh, Population of the state, but also lots of lots of visitors because visitors are important to to Hawaii. The entire um, inventory of the um, the 
capital chambers uh, started aging. And as it continued aging, the people in the way, and the people of the legislature decided that they wanted to to overhaul uh, the this quote unquote capital furniture, and asked me to come to Honolulu again. I I there quite a few times in between, but this for the specific purpose of looking at the. The, uh, the sculptures, because the sculptures were also kinetic. The sun and moon uh, would appear in rhythmic uh, um, passages, electric lights lighting up in the colors of the, the seven colors of the rainbow. And that was an important part of the, of the entire kinetic plane and kinetic uh, um, equipment of uh, both the sun and the moon. So as those had to be renewed, um, I guess I was needed to look at the renewal of what was needed and what was had to be done. So here I was again in Hawaii. I went uh, with my wife, and we spent a New Year's Eve in, uh, on that occasion, a New, a New Year's Eve in, um, in Hawaii. And that was a, ne a nice occasion to see it again, to um, hear it again, to smell it again, to um, feel being part of it again, so that was great. The kinetic sequencing, the, the programming, is important and was one of the, the, the attractions, uh, it's still the attractions of having the sculptures in the, in the, uh, um, in the capital. And then the administration, the technical administration lost track of the the timing plans and they didn't have the plans so some things rested so to speak weren't brought up to up brought up to date in keeping with uh, renewal and that was a very eager guide there were so quite several guides in the, in the, in the capital and he would tell the visitors and I know that from visitors from MIT who 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 were part of the guided tour he said that um, the artist who did the, uh, the sculptures and the timing and the lights and the and the uh, light design uh, died at one time and all the lights went off. Okay, that is, that's myth building. But I guess it was, it was uh, interesting for the people who were visiting how there was a mythical um, element to all the light play and and uh, a, a connection to the universe. Um, now there's a, an anniversary, and I would have loved to go as invited to the the anniversary, but couldn't because of other work commitments that I just could not get out of the way. So instead of um, Going to Hawaii again, we found a way of of saying how we feel about it, and that's what we're doing here.